right, good morning guys. So, it's Saturday, it's the weekend, and it's arm day. So we're gonna go in there, hit biceps, triceps, and shoulders. I'll see you guys in the gym. All right, what's up guys? So we are back with yet another arm day. I'm gonna be putting a ton of tips up on the screen, so make sure you're paying attention, because I'll be throwing them at you pretty rapid fire. Um, today's arm day, we started out with biceps and triceps. I was supersetting bicep with a tricep movement. I haven't done that a lot in the past, but I figured I'd give it a shot, and I gotta say, it gives an amazing arm pump. So we started out with incline spider curls, and we supersetted that immediately with incline dumbbell skull crushers. You'll notice the entire time going very, very slow, especially with these movements, kind of overhead movements for triceps, as well as the bicep movements. Going slow is super important. Well, um, it's, it's even more important in these overhead movements though because your elbow is kind of susceptible here and I've, I've nicked up my elbow before doing these so make sure you go extra slow and careful and keep the tension on the tricep muscle itself. Don't let it come crashing down on that joint because that is just a recipe for injury. Also, if you're going slow and controlled, you're going to get the most out of the movement and that means the most growth for your arms. So, moving into our second superset, um, we went to cable curls with the V-bar. Here, once again, um, we're focusing on really kind of getting that bar to the top and then trying to fight it on the way down. And uh, I could even have held this for another second longer. Uh, I was a bit tired today, so as you can see, my head wasn't quite in the game uh, as it could have been. And I could have been really fighting this more on the way down like that rep there. Um, however, you know, you do your best. But yeah, focus on the eccentric. Try your hardest to fight it on the way down and slow up that um, you know, unwinding of the muscle as much as possible. And this, sim this is a very simple superset. All you do is you just crank that bar up to the top and now you have V-bar tricep press downs. Um, what we're doing here is you're shooting your arms forward. So you're not trying to tuck it into your pelvis when you're pulling it down. You're almost kind of pushing it out in front of you. Um, but we're using the triceps, trying not to squeeze with the chest or the shoulders whatsoever. And this really isolates that uh, the outside head of the tricep, that long head. And as you can see here, uh, my arms and my elbows stay in the same place the entire time. They're perpendicular to the floor and it gets a ton of tricep activation Especially if you go extra extra slow and controlled on the way up You can see I'm just shaking on the way up trying to control it And you'll even feel it in your core a little bit trying to keep that position bent over like that So it's a great tricep exercise. I guarantee you, if you do it the right way with a very slow controlled motion You'll love it. Uh, I realized that Maria was chugging water in every shot of mine, so she is just a troll. Be sure to check her channel out. She's pretty funny, I think. Uh, anyway, last superset for biceps and triceps. Um, these are my favorite right now. Uh, 21s with the easy curl bar. I like to switch up my grip, going wide grip and then narrow grip for the four sets. Um, by the way, all these have been four sets by 12 for everything so far. And it's no different here, except for this one, obviously the 21s, four sets of 21. And um, you want to try to minimize the rock. Obviously, I was hurting pretty much right here, so I was kind of rushing through it. But you really want to, you know, bring it up to the top and let it unwind. Um, but honestly, you know, by the end of the workout, you might be pretty smoked, and that might be pretty hard. And all we're doing now is keeping that V-bar right on the, uh, the uh, cable press-down machine. We're just grabbing it underhanded now. And the trick here is if you tuck your elbows in, you can really get an amazing squeeze through your tricep. Just hitting it from a different angle, activating some different fibers in the... In the tricep because the tricep does have three heads so the way you grip the bar whether you're going overhead whether you're doing kickbacks it all activates different parts of the tricep so be sure to mix it up so you're hitting all the heads and I can go into deeper detail in the future on what kind of angles and what kind of grips will activate each head but I don't quite have time for that right now so just know that you know adding all these movements together are gonna make sure that you hit all those heads in one workout now going into shoulders I haven't done these in a while, doing a barbell overhead press, so I went relatively light, again, doing a 4x12 and focusing on the eccentric. And what's nice about these, though, is it is a bit more of a compound movement, so you're going to have to keep your core tight, squeeze your glutes, and keep everything nice and rigid, um, and then really just press through the shoulders. And again here, I'm not trying to do an Olympic lift or anything. I'm not bringing it all the way down to my, to my chest. I'm just simply bringing it to where I feel like my arms are parallel or a little bit below parallel to the ground, and uh, or 90 degrees at the elbow joint, and then back up. Uh, right to about failure. I don't like to hit failure on those just because I feel like it's bad to hit failure overhead with anything. Um, and then my last, and that was actually, for those, that was six sets of 12. And then here again, this is six sets of 12 um, with a superset. These are very wide grip barbell upright rows. This is to isolate that lateral head of the tricep, or not, or not tricep, shoulder. And uh, with these, you're not shrugging. This isn't a shrug. You don't be using your back. You don't try to be keeping your chest up. 
bringing your arms up just to about 90 degrees, squeezing at the top like you would with a dumbbell lateral and then letting it come back down. And I like to mix them in because, you know, almost everyone does dumbbell laterals for their, you know, side delt, their lateral delt. So mixing it up a little bit helps, you know, confuse the muscle. And this last one is a mix between a rear delt fly and a, um, and a, and a side lateral. Using these light plates, I'm hitting the lateral or the you know the anterior bleh, the posterior aspect of the lateral delt simple way of saying that I'm hitting the back side of the side delt and the rear delt with this one uh, kind of tying them in it gives a nice full sweep to the shoulder so superset that with your upright barbell row and you're good to go I hope you guys enjoyed this video This is the pursuit.